Hello and welcome to this screencast where we're going to use a while loop to kind of soup up or fix up an earlier game that we wrote earlier in the course. So here is the game that we have. Uh, the computer generates a random integer between 1 and 100 and the uh, user enters in a guess and the program tells the user whether the guess was right or whether it was wrong. Now this isn't a very fun game because the user only gets one shot at the guess. And for example, if I run it, uh, it's an integer between 1 and 100 and the chances of me actually thinking of the right number are pretty slim. So we, uh, what make, make this game more fun to play is to modify it as follows. Uh, if the user guesses the right number, then end the game. Otherwise, let the user guess again until he gets it right. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, since we have a condition to meet this time, we're going to guess until the guess is right. It would be best off to use a while loop to make this happen. Let's go over and try to write out an algorithm for this modified and hopefully more fun game. So we're going to start our new improved game the same way we started before, by having the program generate a random integer between 1 and 100. We're still going to prompt the user for a guess, but now, until the user's guess equals the magic number, we want to let the user keep guessing. So until the guess equals the magic number, do the following. We're going to first of all tell the user that the guess was wrong, and then reprompt to the user to enter in another guess. And we're just going to keep looping through this procedure until the guess equals the magic number. Then we're going to when we break out of the loop, that means that the user has finally guessed the magic number. So we're going to inform the user that the guess was right and then stop. So let's go over to MATLAB and write this up. So now we're going to modify our code to match our new improved written algorithm. So we're still going to ask to have the computer generate the random number. We're still going to print the little starting statement out and have the user enter an initial guess. But now we're going to change things up a little bit. Instead of having all this if stuff here, we're just going to get rid of all that. We're going to say, now we said we're going to reprompt the user until the guess was equal to the magic number. Now we learned in the first screencast that to actually write up the while loop we have to flip the logic on this. So instead of saying until the guess equals the magic number I have to phrase it opposite. I have to say while the guess is not equal to the magic number I want to do some things here and that are going to follow. So while the guess is not equal to the magic number, while the guess is still incorrect, I'm going to first to say f print f, say sorry, that guess was wrong, and give it a new line. And then I want to prompt the user to enter in the guess again. I'm going to set guess equal to same variable guess, but I'm going to set it equal to the new newly input. Uh, guess from the user. And then I'm going to end. <clears throat> so what this loop will do is once the user enters in the first guess, if the uh, guess is wrong, which is likely to be wrong, we're going to enter into the loop. It'll tell, them, tell the person that's wrong, let them guess again, and it'll keep looping until this condition is violated, that is, until the guess is finally right, then it will break out. Once it's breaking out of the loop means that we have guessed the right number. So we're now going to have uh, the computer, the program, tell the user that they've finally done it. And uh, that should be enough. Now also notice that it's quite possible that the user can enter the guess right the first time. Um, and if that happens, if the guess actually does equal the magic number after the first try on line 6, then MATLAB will look here when it's confronted with the while loop and look at the value of guess and say, is guess not equal to the magic number? If the guess is equal to the magic number, this entire loop will be skipped over and uh, just jump right down to that f printf statement. So if the the condition is not met at the outset, then the loop is totally skipped. Let's save this and run it. <clears throat> so the computer has thought of a random number between 1 and 100, and I'll just start guessing. Is it 55? Uh, is it 45? So this computer program is actually doing what I asked it to do. As long as uh, the guess is wrong, it's reprompting me. But you can tell this is not a very fun game either because I could just have to sit here and go through all these guesses until I guess the right one. And this is not exactly how we want to spend our time. So let me play with this a little while and see if I can actually guess the right number. But obviously we have some improvements to make. So because nobody really wants to sit around and watch a YouTube video of somebody guessing one number after the next until he hits it, I've gone and done this off stage here, and I finally, just through brute force, got made it to 64. So when I hit the magic number, it did break out of the loop and end the program and tell me congratulations. Obviously, this is a very irritating game to play, so uh, some 
some code that might improve this uh, game, gameplay quality, would be if I enter in a guess and it's incorrect, it will at least tell me whether the guess is greater than or less than the magic number. It will tell me whether my guess is too high or whether it's too low. So let's pop back over to our written algorithm and try to modify that and then see if we can modify the MATLAB code to match. So here's the written algorithm as it originally appeared, and what we're going to do is change the stuff in blue so that the program will test whether the guess is too high or too low, and then allow the user to enter in another guess. The written algorithm might change to something like this. So we still have the until the guess equals the matching number, do the following. Test and see if the guess was greater than the magic number, tell the user the guess was too high. Otherwise, uh, the guess was too low, so it should tell the user that too, and then reprompt the user to enter another guess. And then the rest of the program should go through just as we had it. Let's go over to MATLAB and see if we can write that up. So now we're back into our code here. And what we're really going to do here is remove this just plain, uh, sorry, the guess was wrong line here and replace it with a test. So we're going to use an if else in statement here. While the guess is not equal to the magic number, I want to say if the guess is less than the magic number, then I want to uh, tell the user, f print f, uh, the guess was too low. Give it a new line and stop. Um, and there's only other, one other option. Since I wouldn't be even in this loop in the first place if the guess were right, there's only one other option. That is that the guess is greater than the magic number. So I don't need else if, just an else. And then else I would want to uh, f print f the guess was too high. And that and then I will end the if statement. And in any event here, I want the uh, program to prompt the user to guess again. Now let's see how much better this game is. I'll save it and then run it. And uh, it says guess a number between one and 100. Okay, I will guess uh, 50. Good uh, strategy there. That guess was too high. Okay, so let's go down to half that, 25. That was too high. 12, that was too high. Uh, three, that's too low. 10. Hey, I guessed it. Not too bad. Four tries. So that was the magic number, and uh, it used the evaluation of guess and comparing it with the size of the magic number using an if-else end inside the while loop to make this uh, game a little bit more fun than it used to be. Uh, it won't you know, challenge Call of Duty or anything for, uh, for usership anytime soon, but hey, we wrote a game. That's pretty fun.